So here's the first thing you need to do after picking up your iPhone 12 Pro Max, and it's not downloading Among Us. I just don't understand that game. I mean, welcome, welcome, welcome to the Cobra Pit. Now, many people will say that the first thing you need to do is go out and get a case for your phone. It's a big phone. It has squared off edges, it's heavy, but no, 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 no. That's not the thing. Now, I've gone naked for over 10 months before dropping my iPhone 11 Pro. I typically go naked or use a leather case, but that's not the first thing that I recommend you doing. And it's not even picking up one of these MagSafe chargers. I knew that I wasn't gonna go for a case right away, but there's always something that I get first and it's a screen protector. Now I think a screen protector is more important to have right away because of the micro scratches that you get on your screen that you have no idea where they came from. Yes, this can happen on the back. Yes, you can have scuffs on the side, especially if you drop it, but that screen is prime real estate. That's what you look at all the time. So I wanna make sure that's protected immediately. How many times have you looked at a phone and said, where did I get this scratch? Especially on the first day. So as soon as I made the decision to get the Pro Max, I went on Amazon and I picked up one of my favorite items. So like all the other unboxings, this one's the same. It comes in a nice small box. You open it up, you see the beautiful phone there, white with the silver stainless steel sides. This reminds me of my very first iPhone, the iPhone 10. I got it in white as well and I love the look. If I didn't drop it in a saltwater swimming pool, I'll probably still have it to this day. But you all know the biggest change to this phone are the flat sides. Now this is a throwback to the iPhone 4 and that was the first iPhone that I ever purchased. I purchased it for my wife and she felt this phone and immediately said, wow, it reminds me of my first iPhone. I said, yeah, but a lot bigger, a lot bigger. This phone feels bigger than my iPhone XS Max. Even though it's just a small difference, it feels a lot heavier, it feels more substantial. Maybe because I've been using the iPhone 11 Pro for so long, I've gotten used to the smaller size. But look how beautiful this phone is. Now, Speaking is mostly known for their cases, but they have the best screen protector that I've ever used, and I've used a lot of them. The reason I love it is because it comes with the frame and this frame helps guide the screen protector to lay on perfectly. It's a pretty seamless install. But my biggest tip is go into a bathroom where you can really steam up the room. Close the doors, turn the hot water on. From what I've read and from my experience, the steam helps the dust settle in your environment. And we all know dust can be a huge problem when it comes to putting on screen protectors. Once all the dust is gone, you open it up, you read the instructions, it's pretty straightforward. Go ahead and wipe it down once you wipe it down. I don't really like using this sticker because I feel like I get more fingerprints on it. But what I like to do is go ahead and take this microfiber cloth and dust it off like a little sweeping action. Sweep it back and forth, sweep it back and forth and double check, make sure the light shines on it properly where I can see all around it. So you go ahead and remove the inner lining and place the frame right on top of your phone. It tells you which side is the top, which side is the bottom, and then you press along this arrow. I like to press on the sides as well just to make sure I get most of the bubbles out. Don't be fooled by the bubbles you think you may see because sometimes it's from the film on the top. Once you remove the first sticker, and then the frame, you'll be able to see if there's any bubbles left on it. And you take your squeegee and you go ahead and press and push, press and push. So just take a look all over. It's super thin. It does have that 9H hardness, but tempered glass screen protectors break pretty easily. Fortunately, it comes in a two pack. Now this is not sponsored at all, but I absolutely love speed and screen protectors. I bought them for my last four iPhones. There will be a link in the description that is an Amazon affiliate link, so it does help out the channel, but we're not sponsored by them at all. Now, look at how beautiful this phone is. And now I feel more safe, even though I don't have protection anywhere else. I am still thinking about getting that leather case, 
I am excited for all the other features of this phone. I'm really excited to see if I can handle the size of this phone. I have big hands, but I don't really care for large phones. I want to thank every single one of you for watching my videos. I appreciate all of you. Just don't forget, Cobra told you. All right, y'all.